Hello and welcome back to another installment to Pokefodder and today we're taking a look at what is going on in Jurassic World Live for the week of August 3rd through August 9th. This week is going to be the high HP and hybrid showcase and that means the high HP creatures are going to be in the wild spawning at supply drops which have become increasingly more difficult to come across than they have previously and then the hybrid showcase is going to be in your incubators. But before I break down everything that you can find on the map this week in Jurassic World Alive, I do wanna let you know if you want to catch live gameplay action, you can find me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays over on Twitch. With the addition of raid bosses, we typically try to mix in a few of those for people who are subscribers or Patreons to the channel. So if you are one of those and you want to hang out, be more than happy to have you otherwise just hang out have fun join the conversation watch some arena battles and uh, overall have a good time and if you'd like to know whenever i am live on twitch make sure you are following me on twitter i always post when it is that i'm going live okay for the week of august 3rd through august 9th at special event supply drops we are going to see high hp creatures and is it just me or as the week goes on from monday on into sunday do special event supply drops become more scarce? I've noticed typically on like Monday, Tuesday, and maybe even a little bit of Wednesday, I will have one, maybe two within reach of my house. But then come Thursday and Friday, um, like maybe one if I'm lucky. And then by Saturday and Sunday, I have to get in a car and actually go out to find these. I'm not sure if it's just bad luck where I'm located or if you guys are seeing the same thing. On Mondays and Tuesdays, we have Allosaurus, Apatosaurus, Brontotherium, and Parasaurolophus. And if the opponents that I play are any indication, everybody that's playing this game has a level 30 Thor or so, Allosaurus is probably off the table for 99.9% .9 of the player base. That does leave you three other options. Start what is ever most readily available, unless of course you are working on something specifically and then go after whatever it is that you need. Then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we have Amargosaurus, Argentinosaurus, and Giraffe Titan. So if you are battling in probably Avery, well, for sure Avery and higher, but even whatever the arena is under Avery, if you're not already sick of seeing Ardentis Maxima with Argentinosaurus being on the map for three days, just be ready to see it all the time with even higher levels than you were previously seeing it. I wish I could say that there was something else here to go for, and maybe there is if one of these other creatures comes up with another hybrid out of the blue. But as of today, the um, really your only bet is to go for Argentinosaurus. And then that leads us to a really good weekend, actually. Saturday and Sunday, we have Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus, and then Aranosaurus. <laughs> Aranosaurus is definitely the one that you do not want to dart out of the three. Gemini Titan took a little bit of a lump with 2.0, but when you're the king of the hill and you're there for as long as Gemini Titan has been, then you kind of expect other things to start to catch up. That makes Diplodocus a little less attractive. Again, Brachiosaurus goes to our Densus Maxima, so be fully prepared to see even higher levels of, and I don't even want to say it's the most broken creature in the game because it's not broken. The moves are broken, but um, yeah, my best advice is unless you already have a super high level Maxima and by darting Argentinosaurus and Brachiosaurus, you cannot add levels to it, then I would say go with Diplodocus. Otherwise, really your best bet here is just to... <sighs> Ramp up your max as high as you can. Moving on into strike towers for the week. On Tuesday, you are going to have an attack boost strike. On Thursday, you're going to have a health boost strike. And then on Saturday, you're going to have a speed boost strike. Now, Saturday, which was yesterday from when I'm recording this, I had to look long and hard in order to find a speed boost strike tower. So if you don't see one, again, um, I'm not sure exactly if that's by design or if maybe I'm just unlucky, but uh, some of these boost towers are in some of the features across the table are becoming extremely difficult to come across, but they should be out there if they're not contact support and uh, maybe they'll help you out a little bit. Other than that, we have two rare strike towers and two epic strike towers. Friday's themed one. I can't tell what that is. I'm just being totally honest. I don't know if it's my bad eyesight or what, but if I, maybe if I zoom in on this thing a little bit, 
Uh, that looks like Spinoptoraptor if I'm if I'm zoomed in all the way. So there you go for the Friday. And then on Sunday, you will have another master level Epic Strike Tower. Good news was, is I actually received the full allotment of coins off of the Strike Towers over the weekend. Additionally, what's not represented here on this little graph that you're looking at is the fact that there are trials. And now I believe on Saturday, we typically have an Epic trial tower as well and then with the release of 2.0 we now have raid bosses and the raid bosses from all indications are exactly the same this week as they have been for the previous two weeks that is going to be the sino prime boss on monday you're going to have mammotherium prime boss on tuesday mortar rex on wednesday and then rounding out the week's bosses on fridays with Smile and Emmy's Prime. And there you have it. You are now up to speed on what you can expect for Jurassic World Live August 3 through August 9, 2020. That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time.